by the studio system of filmmaking in which whether you were a producer, an actor, a director, a screenwriter, whoever you were, if you worked in film, you worked for a studio and that studio controlled you. It was, we want you to make this film, go do. And for that reason, um, Fleming was not the original director on Gone with the Wind or Wizard of Oz. He was actually brought in to take over for a former director. Uh, he was just given the film credit because he finished them out. But because of the studio system, Fleming doesn't have his own distinct mise scene. Other than MGM, who is known for their glamorous films, and also MGM was presented with opportunities to use some of the foremost technological advances of that time period, including the three-strip uh, Technicolor process, which they used on both Gone with the Wind and Wizard of Oz. Though it was very tedious and expensive, they had the ability to use it, and for that reason, they had to film on a soundstage completely for both films, uh, because the lighting had to be so... there had to be so much light for the prism and all the technical aspects of the three color the three strip process to work so set designers were brought in to build these huge elaborate sets with a lot of trick photography um, to give the to give the planes of Oz I love you more than I've ever loved any woman and I've waited longer for you than I've ever waited for any woman let me alone there's a soldier of the south who loves you Scarlet wants to feel your arms around him, wants to carry the memory of your kisses into battle with him. Never mind about loving me. You're a woman sending a soldier to his death with a beautiful memory. Scarlet, kiss me. Kiss me. Another important aspect of the mess on scene for MGM is the costume hair and makeup. When you're working for a studio like MGM that's so glamorous, and also just on a film like Gone with the Wind, whether MGM, whoever had made it at that time period, you're dealing with a film about a wealthy, idealized civilization of people, and so you're inevitably going to end up with the beautiful gowns that Scarlet wore and the sharp suits that Rhett Butler wore and all of that. And so costumes played a huge role in that film, as well as Wizard of Oz, when you're dealing with non-human characters and creating something so iconic as Dorothy's blue gingham dress with her ruby slippers. Uh, the hair and makeup on that film, of course, were incredibly important to create the non-human characters, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, and also the Witch. Oh, the great Oz has spoken. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great Oz has spoken. Who are you? Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. 